Hey, what's up everybody? I'm uh, going to give you a little update of everything that's going on. Uh, there's been some changes and I uh, just wanted to let everybody know why there hasn't been any videos lately and uh, let you know that there will be more videos to come. So, uh, kind of have a sneak peek behind me of what's going on. But let me go ahead and tell you what's happened. Alright, so normally I have a Jeep Wrangler or Jeep WJ parked right here and I don't um and uh what's to come so that wj was my dad's wj uh this is his tj uh we decided to sell the wj uh to move on to a different build um i uh, invested some money in uh, doge and i got a decent amount of money from it and uh decided that i was going to use some of that uh, earnings to buy myself a new project uh my dad said hey I want to help out so go ahead and sell the WJ and use some of that money um, so that's why there hasn't been any videos I pretty much sold the WJ and uh, I did pick up a new project but uh, that's a story in itself and I'll let you guys kind of know what's going on with that but uh, if you're here to watch more WJ videos I'm sorry that is gone uh, we're gonna be moving on to a new project and then uh, what you guys are gonna see next what you guys are going to see next is uh, just some unboxing of parts that are going to go into this new build. Um, and then hopefully soon you'll get a full on video of uh, everything uh, that went on with this new uh, build that I got. It's, it's, um, sorry to leave you guys with a cliffhanger, but uh, kind of sucks. Let's just say my Jeep almost got stolen. All right, stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm going to run through a quick unboxing of several different things I uh, purchased for the new build. Um, I'm not going to go too into depth with things, uh, but I'll try to do a quick overview of each one, taking about a minute or two per product. So what I'm opening up here is a solid uh, SOL ID um, Dana 30 front diff cover. Um, ordered this from Amazon and came packaged pretty well put this down real quick see if there's anything else in the box okay and got two uh, or several one two three four solid uh, decals stickers okay that's all that's in the box and then what do we got in here all right, got the hardware to install, plus the drain cover. And then I went with the typical finish. Pretty thick, as you can see there. Surface looks clean. All right, so that's gonna go on the front diff, obviously. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the next thing. All right, what we're opening next is another order from Amazon. Uh, they are JKS um, Quick Disconnects. Um, the packaging on this is a lot, a lot of overkill. As you can see, big, huge box, and the only thing that's in there are these right here. So these are the JKS Quick Disconnects that I'll be installing. Um, packaging is pretty good there. Alright, and then uh, when I actually go to install these, I'll open them up and uh, show you guys a little more of what's inside. Alright, once again, another Amazon order. Uh, this was kind of interesting because uh, one box came and then like four days later the next box came. So I kind of got a little worried when I got the one box and not everything was in it. But, um... What we got in here are some new shocks. I have the Bilsteins for the front and for the rear. Uh, these are meant for um, a four inch lift or up to a four inch lift. Might be actually a little bit more. Let's see if it says anywhere doesn't necessarily say anywhere but um, I have the Bilstein longer travel shocks I'll pull out here's what they look like 
so they come uh, not necessarily zip tied on the strapped I guess clothes and then uh, that's the backs and then over here I have this one open should be the front all right and this is the front and you can tell it's the front by the, the mount on the top so set of four of these so these will be going on also all right and opening up the next box I can't remember exactly who I ordered these from um, I think it was like East Coast gear but uh, what I have here is Dana 30 um, mass rebuild kit for the gears comes with uh, everything hopefully to re-gear the front of the Dana 30 and then I have a Yukon Dana 30 456 um, gears so we'll be re-gearing to a 456 soon uh, let's see if I can get this open up sorry pretty good at the packaging here Give me all right I have it out of the box so as you can see ring gear right there and then your pinion going 456 all right um, so that's it for that all right on to the next product um, I ordered this I wanted to say I ordered this from Morris off-road um, Stein Jagger, I believe is how you say it. But what this is, is a kit to replace the shift linkage on the transfer case. And uh, this will get rid of um, some of the slop that's in it. And if there's any issues that you're having, uh, I'll get rid of some of that too which I am having, that's why I ordered this. Um, there is issues getting into four low because the linkage is getting loose and it was installed incorrectly, so I have this to install into it instead. But uh, you can see here's the plate that mounts to the transfer case, I believe, and then you'll have another plate Another plate I'm not 100% sure, but I think this mounts to the transmission or somewhere in the body. And um, this will attach to here. Part of this is going to attach to your shift linkage, um, the handle itself, and the other part will attach to the transfer case. But this will get rid of any slop that you're having with your uh, linkage to your transfer case. All right, um, this is going to be the last uh, thing that I open uh, for today and pretty much all the parts that were ordered um, for the next build. Uh, not 100% sure how I'm going to film this, so you guys might already know what the build is or you might not know what the build is. Um, but the reason I'm ordering ordered this right here is uh, the intake on my Jeep um, is not 50 state legal and I need one that's 50 state legal. Um, anyone knows Jeep parts enough, they'll probably recognize what this is right away, uh, what it's for, and you might know what the build is if I haven't told you, but it's the Banks Ram Air intake. Uh, this is going to go over the engine itself, and then this elbow will connect right there. And then we have the actual intake, the filters in there, everything's all wrapped up. This will get mounted onto the vehicle itself. Let's see what else we got up in here. Um, have a rubber hose to connect um, your breather and then the silicone couplers to connect those tubes together. The bank's uh, license plate frame. And then the carb um, EO number four 
various intake systems for gasoline engine applications. So basically this lists everything that it would work for. It's kind of interesting um, that there's so many different ones listed under the same number. I'm assuming that somehow these all fit that same car. And it looks like there's some decals in there also. Let me go ahead and pop. Alright, so here in the state of California, this is going to be needed to be put on the vehicle so that they could see that this is something that is legal for the state of California. A little uh, decals, like they're soft, to put on the side of the vehicle. Um, looks like a little booklet of things that they offer, and then um, the instructions on how to install this. But yep, yeah, so that's have, that will have to go on to the vehicle I'm trying to see if there's a serial number or anything anywhere there we go 41818 Let's see if somehow that coincides with uh, sorry hmm nope just looking for anything on here that's going to tell the smog inspectors, hey, this is the intake that's on here and it is legal. Don't see anything that says that, so hopefully this alone will be enough to prove that it is. Alright, so recap, uh, we have the shocks that I opened up, the gears uh, that I opened up, the Stein Jagger um, transfer case connector connector that I opened up and then we have the JKS quick disconnects in there and the solid D30 um, diff cover so I kind of want to just make a quick video of the unboxing of everything instead of making um, short five minute videos of each product I kind of just did everything all at once hopefully you enjoyed uh, kind of just seeing what's going to go into this next build um, and then uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Hit like and subscribe.